Good evening everyone. Today I'm going to narrate a folk tale. A folk tale from Bengal, the plague story. You'll come across this story in A.K. Ramanujan's Folk Tales from India. Now it goes like this. Long, long back, bubonic plague broke out in Asia. And thousands lost their lives. There was no solution. There was uh, no remedy to it. So in this chaos and confusion, the pious king of Bharat, he summoned his priests. And he told them, the situation and he told them that bubonic plague can attack their kingdom any moment now. It's almost there. Now what do they do? So the head priest who was a spokesperson for all the other priests, he said, okay, give us some time. Let us, you know, consult, let us discuss and then we'll come back. So after much uh, discussion, they came back and the head priest said, see, this is a visitation from Lord Shiva. So we need to appease the God. The king instantly agreed and he said, okay, tell us what to do to appease uh, Lord Shiva. So it was decided that each and every household in the kingdom and even the temples will start showing their respect to God, Lord Shiva and they will all start praying. So in, immediately the, uh, the king sent his messenger all around the kingdom and they all made the announcements that, you know, immediately we should start praying to Lord Shiva. And the king also saw it to it. Whatever was required, whatever expenses were being incurred in the process is paid from the royal coffer. So seven days had gone by, all of them, everybody in the kingdom was praying to Lord Shiva. Finally, Lord Shiva appeared in the dreams of the head priest. The head priest was taken by surprise and he didn't know what to say, what to do. He just could show his respect to Lord Shiva, nothing else. And then the Lord spoke and said, I'm very happy. I'm very pleased with the way you people have prayed. You people have shown your respect for me. Now tell me what you want. So the priest with a lot of humility said that, you know, you know what we want. You know how scared we are at this moment. We want that the bubonic plague does not enter our kingdom. Immediately Lord Shiva said, okay, I will appoint Nandi to guard your kingdom so that the bubonic plague is, stay, is kept away. Now, the priest was very happy, but before he could say anything, Lord Shiva disappeared. He, now he started waiting for morning to give this good news to the king and he was very excited. Early in the morning he ran to the king's court and he gave the king this news. The king too was very happy and relieved. It was immediately announced throughout and everybody was addressed. Now Nandi started guarding the kingdom. So when Nandi is guarding there was there is nothing to worry right. So people people were relaxed much relaxed. But bubonic plague's ego was hurt. It was not able to enter this kingdom. So it took a bodily form and it came to Nandi and said, See, I'm going to enter this kingdom. Stop me if you can. And a great skirmish broke out between Nandi and bubonic plague. And it went on and on. There was destruction of orchards. There was destruction of forests. Trees were uprooted. But no one was winning. Finally, they arrived at a truce. Finally, it was decided that, okay, bubonic plague will be allowed to stay in the kingdom for one day and it can only take one individual of the kingdom. So people also agreed because, you know, otherwise what would have happened? It would have stayed for days and it would have, it would have taken thousands of lives. So they said, okay, go ahead. Done. Now, in the evening, what happened? People started coming, gathering in the king's court and they all started crying and they said hundreds, hundred people have been taken away by plague, not one. The king was very angry. Nandi assured them that bubonic plague is going to take only one person. How come hundred were taken? Immediately, he went to Nandi. The moment Nandi heard this, he was very angry. He was furious. He ran to 
bubonic plague, who was there in a dilapidated, old, worn-out cottage. He caught him by the collar and he said, How could you do this? You had promised you'll take only one and you have taken hundred. Bubonic plague said, Hold on, I've taken only one. He said, No, hundred people are dead. He said, Yes, because 99 are dead out of fear. They had mild fever and they had throat infection. And they were under the impression that I've come to take them. So out of sheer fear they died. I'm not responsible. Then he understood. He understood this man is saying the right thing. He's not responsible. He has taken only one. So and he had no option but to leave the collar of Bubonic Plague. And Bubonic Plague left the kingdom after that day. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you so much for listening.